In this video, we will show you how to use SnapMaker 2.0 3-in-1 3D printer with SnapMaker Luban 4.0 software for 3D printing. It will cover five parts, including initial settings, import and edit models, set material parameters, set printing parameters, and generate and export G-code. Initial settings. When you first open Luban, you need to select the preferred language and your machine model. The home window of Luban 4.0 consists of three main panes. From the Get Started pane, you can enter the 3D Printing G-Code Generator, Laser G-Code Generator, CNC G-Code Generator, or Workspace. Case Library provides built-in cases for each function to help you get started quickly. Help provides various user support resources, such as the software manual and video tutorials. Here, we choose 3D Printing G-Code Generator for demonstration. Import and Edit Models To start your project, you can import and edit models in the toolbar on the left. The main toolbar on the top provides quick access to home and workspace. And in the object list below, you can quickly locate the imported models and change their visibility. On the configuration bar, you can set the material parameters, edit the printing parameters, generate G-code, and export it to the machine. Now, let's start with importing. Open your model file in STL or OBJ format, and then adjust it as needed. You may move, scale, rotate, or mirror the model. The new version of Luban also features scale to fit, and auto-rotate in the toolbar. Besides, you can click Save at any time to export the current process as a project file for subsequent editing. Set Material Parameters After you finish adjusting the model, you can proceed to set the material parameters. There are two default material profiles in Luban, PLA and ABS. You can click the Settings button to change the parameters. To learn more about them, you can check the video description for the software manual. And to discard the changes, click the Restore button and the parameter will be restored to default. Besides, you can also create a new profile. Copy from the preset ones and import or export the profiles here. Set Printing Parameters The next step is to set up for printing. There are three built-in profiles for this section, and each of them can be edited too. Here, we select Fast Print and set the parameters based on it. Layer height means the thickness of every layer extruded. The smaller it is, the more delicate the print will be, while the longer it will take. By setting infill density, you can decide the amount of filament infilled inside the print. This parameter will affect the strength of the print. As for the support, you can either add it manually in the toolbar or generate it automatically here. In this window, you can also set the support in detail, such as the pattern and density. When you finish, click Select to apply the changes. If you need to edit some parameters frequently, click the Menu button and tick them in the pop-up window, and they will be listed as general parameters in the main interface. Generate and export G-code. When ready, click Generate G-code to preview the processing results, as well as the time and filament needed. You can choose to export G-code to Workspace or to a file. Here, we demonstrate the former option by clicking Export, Load G-code to Workspace. Make sure the machine and Luban have been connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and select your machine in the drop-down list to connect. Finally, select the G-code and click Send to Device via Wi-Fi. Then receive the file on the touchscreen. You can start printing now. Thanks for watching.